Today, we are going to talk about how to get the most out of your Chase Bliss Audio CXM 1978 with MIDI. I promise you the long name is worth it. This pedal is incredible. I've been having so much fun with it today and I wanted to just make a quick video just to show you what I've been up to messing around with different MIDI settings and options. This pedal really does lend itself to the creative player, someone who wants to get a bunch of different sounds, manipulate them as they're actually playing live, and you can do this over MIDI with an expression pedal, you name it, it can be done. So today we are going to get into some presets, so hold functions, expression, and show you how you can make the most out of this pedal with your MIDI controller. But first let's quickly show you how to change the MIDI channel on the pedal and then uh, we'll do this also with the PBC, which is the MIDI controller for today. First thing you're gonna do if you wanna change the MIDI channel on this device, let's say channel two is already taken up, we're gonna unplug it, hold down both foot switches, plug it back in and release those foot switches. We are then going to go to our RJM devices we're going to set up generic. As you can see, I've already set this up. As of today, the RJM computer programmer for the actual PBC, the MIDI controller, does not have the CXM 1978 uh, installed. I'm sure that it will very soon because uh, Ron and Sherry at RJM are great at staying up to date with new pedals. Um, but this one, what we're going to do is show you how to do this if you don't have the settings already programmed by RJM. We're going to pick generic. PCCC device. I just named it 1978 so I know what pedal. I want to set it to MIDI channel 4 and now what we can do is write those changes and by default these presets in the RJM are already set up. Preset 1 is going to send PC number 0, preset 2, PC number 1, so on and so forth. The 1978 requires you to send a PC message or a program change on the channel that you want it to be set at. So we are already in the programming mode here on the 1978 for the MIDI channel. It's waiting to receive something. So what we're gonna do is go over to our PBC. We're just gonna press uh, preset number two because that's the next one that's not used. And we are going to do that. And now our MIDI channel should be set to channel four. Now that the device is set up, we can start having some fun with this pedal. As you can already see, presets are working. So if we go back to the PBC, we can do preset one, two, three, and so on. If you have preset one and you wanna make a few tweaks, you can do that and then make that save on the pedal itself and it will recall those changes every time you go to preset number one. But there's so much more that is available on this pedal. And so we wanna access some of that today. So what we're gonna do on the RJM editor is we are going to go to a brand new page. I am going to show you how to toggle between just a couple of presets. First thing we're going to do, we're going to create an IA button and we'll name this preset toggle. The off color we're going to do red just for fun. The on color we are going to do green. And as you can see there's already something that I've set up here. When the button is on or green, we are going to go to preset number nine. When we hit that same button again, we are gonna to go to preset number one and they will just go back and forth. I'm gonna build on this in just a second, but let's see what that actually practically looks like. So right now we're on red and red is the off color, which is PC one. We hit it again, the on color is number nine. So you can see that this is working well. But what if we want to do something else? We go to number nine and now we realize that the mix level is a little bit too low. We want to be able to adjust that mix level on the fly. But you're doing a two-handed tapping solo and you can't get your hands off the guitar to adjust that mix level. You need an expression pedal. So we already have an expression hooked up. Keep two-handed tapping while I'm getting this going here. And we are going to go to expression. I'm going to name this Let's name it Global Mix, because no matter where we are, we can take advantage of this. We have 1978 as the device. The CC number, we need to figure out. Luckily, I have the user manual right here, 
And this is the MIDI manual for the 1978. Always have the manuals up if you're gonna be doing some MIDI programming. It makes your life so much easier. Uh, we want to do CC number 18. Zero is gonna be off, 120%, 127 is gonna be 100% on. So remember CC 18. CC number here, 18. Min value is zero. I want to up that just a little bit because I don't want it to go fully off when I'm on the heel on the expression. And I don't want it to go fully 100% or else no dry is going to go through. Terrible for a two-handed tapping solo, trust me. So let's go up to, let's say 100, which is going to be a bit below 100% wet. There's still going to be some dry level coming through. So now we are on page four, which means we can toggle between these two presets. I'm on number nine. I'm not actually going to do a two-handed tapping solo. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna play some chords. It's what I'm comfortable with. So we're now on number nine. This is what it sounds like. Two-handed. Now we're gonna get into that expression. expression pedal to jump your mix up while you're reducing your pre-delay or jump the mix up while you are I don't know boosting up the bass you can do all sorts of things with this approach but what if you want to access a really cool crazy sound momentarily let go and then the settings go back to another value that you've decided we can do that with a momentary CC so we're gonna start this with a new button we are going to do an IA instant access, and we're gonna call this mix, and no, we can do better than that. We're gonna call this pre-mix, pre-delay and mix level. We're gonna use multiple colors just cause we can, just cause I'm up in Canada. Let's change these to red and white. Sorry America, we can only pick two colors. Can't do red, white, and blue right now, but I got close. We're gonna do this as a momentary, a CC momentary button. We want to control mix, which is CC 18. When we let go or the off value, we want it to jump to half. That's just what we're gonna do right now. When it's on or we're holding the button, we want it to jump up to 127. Let's do the same thing for pre-delay, which is CC 19 from that MIDI manual. Let's see what happens. So we have our toggle. That goes back and forth between multiple presets. We have our expression, which controls the mix level. We now have a hold function. When I hold this down, we should see mix and pre-delay jump up to 100%. When I let go, they should go back down to 50. Let's see what this sounds like. There you have it. You have the momentary function, expression, and toggling through different presets. You can do all of this within the preset editor as well, but I just wanted to show you on a separate page. Lastly, let's see if we can go through a couple of the arcade buttons, which are the little buttons on top of the 1978 over MIDI. So we're gonna see if we can toggle this on the same button screen. Let's do it with a brand new button. And again, we're gonna go with an IA, instant access, and we're gonna name this arcade. I really like the uh, room size or the room type, hall, room, what else do we have, plate, and so I wanna toggle through a couple of those. So what I'm gonna do is go to the manual, again, and we're gonna go type, 
23 is our CC number, one, two, and three are the values. So let's do CC toggle, 23. We'll do an off value of zero, an on value of three. Sorry, on value. Okay, it's one, two, and three. So we're gonna go between room and hall. It's gonna be arcade button three. Let's see what this sounds like. There you have it. We've been through toggling through presets, instant access to a couple of different presets, expression, momentary switches, and accessing those arcade buttons. There's so much you can do with this. Most of what I've done today as well, you can do all at the same time with a push of a single button. I just wanted to break it down and make it a little bit more accessible. As you can see, there is so much you can do with these units over MIDI or just by themselves. They have tons of sounds inside and you just need to learn how to access them and manipulate them to the sounds that you hear in your head. If you have any questions, put them below. If you want the file that I created today in the RJM Computer Programmer, Comment below, give me the file, and I'll send you a link to download it. Any other suggestions or things you guys want to see, let us know. If not, we'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.